Police are pushing forward with their investigation into a murder more than two decades old. They're trying to build a stronger case against Mark Allen Norwood, the suspect in the beating death of Deborah Baker. Norwood is already behind bars in Williamson County, recently linked by DNA to another murder in the 1980s. KXAN's Doug Shoup is live in a North Austin neighborhood where Norwood used to live to tell us what detectives are looking for now. Doug? Well, Leslie, 23 years have passed. That's certainly a long time. But someone who used to live in one of the neighborhoods where Norwood used to live may remember something. And tonight, police hope to jog their memory. This is what Mark Allen Norwood looked like around the time Deborah Baker was murdered. He was 33. She was 34. Unfortunately, for the last 23 years, Deborah's murder has been unsolved. Detectives say in late 1987, Norwood lived on Justin Lane, two blocks from where Baker was killed in January 1988. They also say before Baker's murder, Norwood was responsible for a couple burglaries in that same neighborhood. At the time of the murder, they say Norwood lived on Purnell Drive, less than two miles from the crime scene. Anyone that may have known Norwood might have been a neighbor, uh, acquaintance that may have visited these areas, that may have known him around the approximate time frame of January 1988. We need for you to call us. Police also ask anyone who may have done business with Norwood to come forward. We do have some information that Norwood was working as a carpet layer around this time period. So any business or construction site or anyone else who might have worked in that field or a related field that may have known Norwood at any level. We'd like to hear from you. And police say they are trying to find people who may know about items stolen from Baker's home after she was beaten to death. Anyone that may have known Norwood during this time period and may have received or bought property from him or saw him with property where you were suspicious about how he acquired it. Although recent DNA evidence may be a step toward a conviction in this case, police hope to make it stronger with the public's help. Now, police say this case is still very much an active case, and they say anyone with information is urged to call APD's homicide tip line at this number, 477-3588. If you do have information that leads to additional charges, you could be eligible for up to a $1,000 reward. Live in North Austin tonight, Doug Shoup, KXAN News. Thank you, Doug. Mark Norwood, you know also the suspect in the 1986 murder of Christine Morton. Her husband spent 25 years in prison for the crime until new DNA evidence freed him and pointed investigators toward Norwood.